For this example, we're given a function, f of xy equals 4 times x times y, on a domain. This is just a square domain, 0, 1, cross 0, 1. So in the xy plane, this domain just goes from 0 to 1 in the x direction, and 0 to 1 in the y direction, and fills out this square region. So there's our region D. We want to show that this function on this domain is a probability density function, and then as long as it is, we want to compute the expected values of this probability density function. So step one is to show this, we need to remember, check that our function is continuous. It's given by a polynomial, so it's continuous. Number two, we need to check that it's non-negative. And so this function is equal to zero at the origin. Um, this function is could be negative if x or y is negative individually, but it's not. In this region D, neither one um, is negative. Everything's in quadrant one or on the coordinate axes, the xy coordinate axes, and so this function is zero at the origin, but positive everywhere else, so it's a non-negative function. And then step three is to show that the double integral of this function over just this region itself is equal to one. And so that requires a little bit of computation. So let's do it. So number three, we're gonna compute the double integral over this rectangular region of the function 4xy dA. This is gonna be pretty straightforward. We can take out the four. It's the integral from zero to one, zero to one, it's a rectangle x times y dx dy. It's not only rectangular region, but it's separable. And so this is 4 times the integral from 0 to 1, x times dx. Integral from 0 to 1, y times dy. And of course, each of these are equal to 1 half. So this is 4 times a half times a half, and it's indeed 1. And so this function on this interval, or on this domain, is a probability density function. All right, the second part of the example is to compute the expected value of this probability density function. And because of all the symmetry here, um, the x and the y can be replaced, nothing changes. Even the intervals, if you swap x and y, the domain remains the same. So the expected value uh, in the x and the y directions are gonna be the same. And so we can just compute this once. So the expected values, by the way, if you don't agree with this or you don't see this right away, you can compute both of them and show that they're the same. Um, but I'm just going to do one computation. The expected values are each going to be equal to, so remember how you compute the expected values. So let's do mu sub x. This is the double integral over the domain of x times f of x, y, dA. All right, and then this is going to be the integral from 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 4 times x squared times y, dx, dy. And again, this is separable. So this is 4 times the integral from 0 to 1 x squared dx times the integral from 0 to 1 y dy. These are polynomials. This one becomes 1 third. This is 1 half. So we end up with 4 times a third times a half. And working all this out, the 2 cancels the 4. We end up with 2 thirds. And so this is mu sub x. And so I claim that by symmetry, mu sub y is also equal to two-thirds. If you don't see this or you don't believe this, then you should compute this yourself. So this is an exercise, okay? But the expected value of this probability density function on this domain D, mu sub x comma mu sub y, this is just gonna be the point two-thirds comma two-thirds. All right, so it's about here, here. Here's the expected value of this probability density function.